God, I can't believe it. My God, this is crazy. Forgive me. It's unbelievable. I can't stand it. Please take me, God. Take my life now and save me from the torture of this guilt. I can't face what I've done. It's insane, my God. Kill me. Take my life. Please, God. Deliver me from the agony of my conscience. Please, God, please. Just kill me. Papa? Papa? Where is he? <sighs> Papa? <sighs> Papa? Oh God, how can I go on? I can't. Papa? Papa, where are you? Papa? Papa? What have I done, Lord? God, what have I done? I can't go on. I can't. My God, I can't live with the burden of this sin. I don't have the strength. Papa, Papa, answer me, Papa. Where are you, Papa? Uh, my God, I can't. It's too much for me to bear. I'm too weak. I just can't take it. Oh, God. Papa? Oh, God, there's no way I could go on. This is it for me. I know it's wrong, but I can't stand it. Papa. I'm so sorry, Isla. Papa, don't. Stop this, please. There's something you don't know. It's funny you should say that, dear. There are things you don't know. I... I killed an innocent child. You didn't, Papa. That girl is alive. Don't do this. What? But that can't be. She didn't die? No, Papa, she's alive. She didn't die. She didn't die. Here's what we credited, and here's what we owe. Yes, Don. Bankrupt in a way. He can't make us pay. I won't trust anyone. Get the hell out! Come on, hide on! What am I going to do now? Yeah, I knew that price would come down. <laughs> I'm going to make him pay for this. Isla, honey? Huh? Huh? What happened to me? Did I fall? Where is Isla? Is what she said true? What's going on? What is this? What are you doing here? This is a construction site. What are you doing at a construction site? Well, I was... scared. I was looking for a way out. 
I did something so horrible, I would have been given a life sentence. I went there so I could find a way out of it. And what type of escape were you hoping to find there? Uh... I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. You do look a little unusual. It's true I am unique. You do not stand before a man, but a mirror, which reflects the whole of your existence. You call that an answer? So you're... a what? A mirror? You and I will look closely at all the deeds in your life and determine their merit for the final account. You mean... Are you telling me that I'm no longer alive? Yes, that's true. Your dream of life is now over. It's time to awaken to your true life. Oh, no. I... I... I was on the building. I was talking to my daughter. So how could I have died? I've been having a hard time keeping things straight lately. That's it. I'm just confused. And I'm not... I'm not actually here. Don't look at me like that. Stop it. Stop it! I haven't died! Papa! Why did you do it? Papa, no! You were wrong! Why didn't you listen to me? This man committed suicide? No, sir. He tripped and fell off the ledge. If he wasn't trying to kill himself, then why did he get so close to the edge that high up? Enough! Be quiet! Whatever happened, my father is dead. Don't you understand? That's all that matters is that my father Isla. is dead. Honey, just look at me. Don't cry. I'm not dead. This man killed himself. I saw it. He went up there. He looked down for a long time, distraught. Then he jumped. Yes, it's true that I went up there. And yes, I was very upset. But I didn't really want to die. Papa. Move back, everybody. I'm going to cover up the body. They keep on talking about this body of mine. I'm telling you, I haven't died. Why didn't you listen to me? This is so wrong. No, Papa. My God. My God, that's me. I really am dead. Impossible! I'm standing right here! Just look at me! Look! Alive! Right in front of you! Look! I'm right here! Look! I'm right here! I'm not dead! Why are you resisting the truth? I can't do this. You can't do what? Be dead. But does not everyone die? No. Is there anyone who lived that hasn't died? Uh, no. Is there any other living being which does not die? Not that I know of. And you were aware of this while you were alive? I was... I knew that I would die, like everybody else does. Why do you resist the fact that this fate has now befallen you? I don't know. I thought death was something that happened to other people. And what assurances did you have that this was true? None. What assurances could there be? So why is it so difficult to accept this? To die. Nobody can know what that's really like till it happens. Why do you suppose all the prophets came to offer wisdom? Has their insight, as it's been recorded in so many ways, escaped your notice? Yes, in a way. The day-to-day -day grind of getting by keeps you too busy to think about life. Very shortly, the breadth of your life will be accounted for. All that you've done, from the moment of your birth to the moment of your death, will be weighed and evaluated. And everybody that you have mistreated in your life will be given the chance to confront you. Uh, really? Well, who could that be? They are all here. <gasps> I'll confront every one of them? You will. Each person has a right to address how you wrong them. But why do I have to face them? It'll destroy me. I can't. 
You have left the realm of choices and you must now face the consequences. Look. Great mountains have turned to dust. The seas boiled and seethed. The world has changed. Its time has forever passed. It is now time for the final account to commence. Behold, the sum of your deeds. My deeds? I guess you mean all of them. Even the smallest deed will not go without notice. That means the good and the bad deeds will both be weighed? It is the only way to come to a fair judgment. Every injustice and every claim must be addressed and compensated for. All of them have something that they need to settle with me? They do. They would not be permitted here without just cause. And what about my claims? If you have any claims against anyone, you will be given a chance to confront them. All these deeds, where are they recorded? I mean, that's, that's a lot to remember. There is a body of truth of which everyone is an important member of the whole. Every single element is necessary and could not be forgotten or dismissed. Like your eyes or your heart, you don't need to be reminded that they exist. Uh, this is going to be very hard to bear. You're right. It will be harder than any words can express. You know, I was a very kind grocer. I always made sure the produce was good. My prices were fair, and I took care of my customers. I never even asked that they settle up their debts to me. It looks like we're coming up short again, doesn't it, Hydar? I'm afraid so, Miriam. Here's what we credited, and here's what we owe. Oh! This is how much the customers owe us? Yeah. Almost four times as much as we owe. But thanks to your kindness, we won't collect what we're owed, will we? I'll find some way to work it out, Miriam. Oh, no, you won't. You say that every month and it's always the same. What can you take from someone who has nothing? You give credit to anyone who comes in and needs food. What's worse, you never tell people what they owe you. You know peasants only have so much. Look, you have to start keeping some accounts, Hydar. I mean, we have a daughter we're putting through college. All right. Bring out the fortune-telling board for me. I don't think that's the kind of fortunes we need to worry about. Dear, would you please just do as I ask? All right, all right, I'll bring it. Settle down. Bring the astrology book as well. I want to see them both. Uh. I assume you want to do this now. Move. Good. Here. Hmm. Mm. Luck. Fortune. Destiny. Fate, future and past, Yezdan, Eremon. Look, here's Yezdan. Uh. What do you think, Miriam? What's the number? Yezdan, four. Yezdan, four. You will continue doing good unto those of thine family and neighbors. Since that's what it says, I will continue <sighs> doing good and be generous. You do a lot of good, Hydar, and I love you for it. And yet limitless kindness is like a sickness. Anything you do in excess will inevitably lead to no good. No. The signs tell me to keep being generous. What does this mean? If I can do it right, 
It has to come back to me in an equally good way. Yeah, yeah. I'll do as you wish. Hello, Haidar. Hello, Sinan. Haidar, sir. Dad needs five gallons of corn oil. Ah, uh, and what's he gonna do with that? What does it matter what people want stuff for? He'll say to put it on the account. That's right. That's just what he said. Tell Haidar to put it on my ah. account. I'll pay him back next week. I wouldn't hold your breath if I were you, Haidar. You're not going to give it to us? I am, my boy. Don't you worry. Why wouldn't I? Come with me. Come. Come get your oil. I'll show you where it is. Uh... Mm. It's Isla. <clears throat> Hello, sweetie. Hello? What was that? Just a minute. It's for you. I don't know who it is. Sounds like they're calling from town. Okay, I got it. Hello. Yeah, it's me. Huh? Good evening. Why is that? Mm. But it's a month and a half until I have to make the payment. How am I supposed to pay that in one week? All right. All right. Bye. Well? It's nothing. I know something's wrong. Tell me what happened. Do they want money? Yeah, the wholesaler. They want everything I owe all at once. But why now? They're running out of money, that's all. They're trying to get by. Great. So of course you're going to give them the money without collecting the money that we're owed. Am I right? Don't be like that, Miriam. You should have heard how depressed that man sounded. Mm. Help me, he says. Please help me, Hydar. I can't make ends meet. What will you do? It's too much. How are you going to pay all that money? Don't worry. The village people will get their government subsidy in three days. Then they'll have the money to pay me back. Then I pay the wholesaler. Hmm. Guess what I heard? Haidar is collecting his debts. Yeah, I know. He says he'd be very pleased if everybody would pay him what they owe. Everybody in the village owes Haidar. Of course. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not giving him a single penny. Same with me. I won't pay him a huh? dime. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Two days ago, you both got paid a bunch of money by the government. It's not like you couldn't pay if you wanted to. You're right. We just got some money. But I have a lot of other debts. I have to pay what I owe to Osman the Peddler first. If you don't, he won't sell us anything. Mm-hmm. How could we survive if we don't buy from Osman? He sells us everything we need to farm. Okay, but what about Haidar? It's obvious he needs the money. If he didn't, he wouldn't embarrass himself by asking. Haidar is going to have to wait. Mm -hmm. He's very kind-hearted. He'll let it slide. <sighs> Besides, he can't make us pay. They sell. Bring us four teas. You got it. Look, it's not like we aren't going to pay. Just put it on our tab and he'll get it next week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Good to see you, Hydar. Thanks, Hammond. What's this? Well, Hydar, I heard you were collecting. You need people to pay you. I need to pay the wholesaler. He wants me to pay in a week. He's having troubles of his own. I was thinking of the village as usual. If I can't buy goods, I can't sell them to you. I understand what you're saying, Haidar. All the farmers got their money from the government, but you know my situation. I don't qualify for the subsidy, uh, and I have no money. I understand. Don't worry yourself. You'll pay when you have money. That's very kind. But I can't promise you I ever will. But I could give you this in place of my debt. Emin, this is your granddad's radio, isn't it? Uh, well, yes, it was. My friend, you keep this. You'll pay me back whenever you can. But I can't take this family heirloom. It's meant for you. Uh, but what about you? You need something. It's all right. What can I do? I'm not going to take away what you hold dear, thanks anyway. And besides, 
I know the farmers will be able to pay me back. It's fine. Uh, listen to me, Hydar. Don't tell them I told you this. But they don't have any intention of paying. Huh. <laughs> Come on. Why would they do that? I really don't know. But that's what they were saying to each other. Oh, no. They will pay. If they don't today, then I'm sure they'll pay day after tomorrow. You're a good man, Hydar. What would we do without you? <laughs> well, then have a nice day, my friend. Uh, it's the same to you. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. All right. Thank you. Don't worry yourself. So did these people pay their debts off yet? No, they didn't. But the wholesaler's coming tomorrow. How are you going to pay him back then? Everybody knows he's coming tomorrow. They'll pay me off in the morning, God willing. Hmm. Well, what if they don't pay you? Oh, they will. I'm sure our friends won't leave me in this mess. Oh, you think everybody's like you, Hydar. I hope that you won't be sorry when it comes time for them to step up. Hello, Hydar. Hello, Awesome. Sit down, Hydar. You can't act like that. <sighs> What's going on, Orhan? Nothing, Hydar. What do you ask? <laughs> I owe you some money, don't I? I swear I don't have any money for you. What I got from the government, I lent to my cousin. I'll pay when he pays me back. Look at me. Look, I haven't got a penny to don't my name. Don't do that, Orhan. I know. You're a man of your word. You won't lie to me. Of course not. Well, I'll see you around. Yeah, sure. Goodbye. I'm not going to say that money today, that's for sure. Which means they must not have it. If they did, they'd pay me. Uh-huh. And here comes the wholesale man. Yeah. How are you today, Hydar? I'm well, I could, and you? I just ran into him. Had I seen him, I'd have gone the other way. I was going to avoid him, but I couldn't. I literally turned my back on him. But if I hadn't, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Mm. He wasn't going to come back and ask me well, for the money. he asked me. What, he did? So I guess Hyder has really changed then, hasn't he? Man, oh man. I never expected that from him. Hey, look. There's Osman, the peddler. Let's go. I need to settle my bill with that guy. Me too. Don't do this, please. If you take away my merchandise, there won't be anything left for me to sell. I know. Then I'd be bankrupt in a way, if you know what I mean. If I don't have goods then, I can't make money. Then the only grocery store will close down. What about the villagers? I don't know how to help them, Hydar. You should have thought about that, so then you could have paid me. I'm owed a lot, but no one paid me. Consider my situation, Hydar. If you don't pay... And you don't return the goods, what am I supposed to do? There are debts that I have to pay off. If I don't, then I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, of course, I understand. You're trying to run a small business, Hydar. You need to start acting like it. I know you only meant well, but you can't afford to let people owe you so much. Uh, so what are we going to do? Since you can't pay off your debt, I will take the goods left in the store. My friend, I hope this has taught you that you can't run your business like a charity. Please, I could. Don't do it. I don't have any choice. I'm sorry, my friend. Let's go, man. Load up. All right, boss. Okay.
Anything you want, come and get it. Osman. Yeah? I'm taking this and this, too. You've made a wise choice. I have those at home. Yeah. All together, it comes to exactly 110. Uh, sure. Here, thanks. How much do I owe you now, Osman? You owed 130, and with these, 150. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Enjoy. See you next time. How much for one of these, Osman? For you, just 50. Oh, well, that's uh, a good price, right? My price so you is didn't have insane. money. Would I Are you lie? working me here? Okay. I want this, too. How much for all of this? Right. Take those, and, and this, and this. And with the 130 from last winter, all together, it's 250. All right. Here you are. That's it. Hey, Hydar! <laughs> Come on, Hydar! My friend! If you need something, just ask. <laughs> you swore to me you didn't have any money left. You didn't pay me, even when you had money. I couldn't pay my debts, and now I've lost my store. Bye. Yeah, come again. You have ruined my livelihood. What you did has left me with nothing. Why weren't you honest with me? And what about my family? My daughter? Why? What am I going to do now? Luck, fortune, destiny and fate, future and past, Yezdan, Eremon. Let's see, what do we have here? Thirteen Eremon. Thirteen Eremon. Thirteen Airman. Don't trust anyone, even your friends and neighbors. Also, deny them kindness and understanding. Ah, yes, now I see. From this day on, I won't be so kind to anybody. I won't trust anyone. They all betrayed me. And they... They stole my kindness from me. And my money. They destroyed my life. Kindness... is something... you should only share out of a genuine sense of compassion. And it is from God alone, by following His example, that you should expect to receive your reward. I tried. To be good and to be generous. What's so bad about that? What did you really do? You did good deeds with the expectation of reward. And then you consulted your fortune-telling device to see what you'd gain. Every act of kindness was done to benefit you. You never wanted to give. Instead, you were always looking for your return. Maybe, even so. I did give people what they needed. I made myself useful to them. If you do good deeds in the spirit of God's generosity, it is meaningful. It all depends upon whether this apparent act of kindness was truly done in God's name. In a way, it's even worse for one to give excessively for their own benefit, because it can lead to even greater selfishness. 
That makes no sense. I mean, I was always so nice about everything. You didn't conduct your business honorably. Many abuses took place. You deliberately closed your eyes to many lies and deceits. I did. That's true. It was all for my future. An apt choice of words. You did as the fortune-telling device instructed. I did? Trusting your fate to a piece of wood, instead of making your own decisions. Creating a contraption to run your life instead of living it yourself. At first, I thought it would help me make more sense out of the world. Every day, no matter what it said to me, seemed to ring true. And my father used to do it. I learned it from him. My dad, who was also a very religious man. A mistake that your father made in his life by ignoring his intelligence. But the greater mistake was obeying the will of two deities and believing in them. Two deities? That's right. Yezdan, the good deity. Eraman, who was the evil deity. If you draw a peg that is Yezdan, then all is good. If you draw an Eraman peg, then there is a malevolence surrounding you. While it offers simplicity, it is a superficial way of trying to deal with the complex demands of a multifaceted existence. Well, I never thought it was that much different than most religions. Except that these gods are false. One of the two unforgivable sins is to promote suffering. The other, false gods. So then, there is no forgiveness for this? Oh, come on. I mean, all the good things I did for the villagers. Isn't that worth anything at all now? No. You can't be rewarded unless the intention of your acts is divine. Every decision that you came to by using that board is meaningless. I'm confused. I didn't realize it was so wrong. Of course you're confused. You led your sense of truth astray. You lost your way. And in the end, you can only blame yourself. I wish... I wish I had stayed in the village. I wish I hadn't sold everything. To make a fresh start. To settle in the city. Hydar, your price is too high. The field isn't worth that much. Do what you like, Hikmet. But I already offered the other fields at a higher price, and people bought them, you know? Yeah, let's say I bought the field. I'd like to make a deal. What if you did me a favor? Those days are over, Hikmet. If you want to buy the field, then pay the price. If you don't want to buy it, then I have no choice but to offer it to someone else. Some people in town are interested. They want to build greenhouses. <sighs> well, okay then. I'll buy it. Gotta do it. So, I can pay half of the promissory note and the other half of it in cash. Forget a note, Hikmet. I'm leaving here in four or five days. You have to pay me everything at once. I can't. I don't have that much. Surely you are friends and family. Borrow from them. Hey, what about your father-in-law? You know he has tons of money. Look, you need to work this out somehow. Get the money tomorrow. Good luck. See you then. I can't believe all the money I'm paying you guys. Look at what time it is, and you haven't moved three pieces yet. Hey, it's the best we can do. You said you had three pieces, and you didn't mention the heavy furniture. Whatever, come on, keep moving. That's going to come out of your wages, you hear me? Papa, will you help me move this? Let's uh, take it together. It's real heavy. Uh, I would like to, my dear, but I hurt my back. It hurts when I bend over. Look, it hurts. You, you're a healthy young woman. You can move it easily. Come on now, get to it. Good Lord, alive. All right, come on. Mm. Hi, how's it going? All right. How's by you? I saw your ad. I'm not asking for myself, but uh, how much is the store? A friend of mine was looking for a store like this. Well, I'm the owner. It's my store. It's valued at at least 45000 
But I'll go lower. My mother is sick, so I'll sell it for 35000 What are you talking about, man? Somebody could buy a supermarket at that price. Not around here. The price I'm giving you is below market value. I have to get it off my hands right now. Come on, help me out. I'm nobody's fool. What good does doing you a favor do me? My friend would have bought it. But even this lowered price you're offering, it's way too much. Sorry. Hold on a sec. Yeah, I knew that price would come down. I need to get going. Look, if you're interested, maybe we can work something out. So let's talk about it. Good. All right. I'll accept your offer. I don't really have a choice. But if you could, pay me cash up front. What are you kidding? Who has that kind of cash on hand these days? I'll do no such thing. This is my last offer. And we're going to shake hands on it. You leave the store of yours as is, and I'll take it. Tomorrow we'll meet up, and I'll pay half cash, half installment. Oh. Don't look at me like that. Besides, if I pay all at once, you'll spend it all at once. You said that you had a very sick mother. So the money will come in regularly for two years. It's like a monthly pension. You can take it or leave it. Decide, because I'm not going to wait forever. I really have to go. Goodbye. Okay. I accept. It's a deal. Good luck. Yes. Let's see what the future holds. Now that I've opened a brand new store, I want good business. Luck, fortune, destiny, and fate, future and past. Yes, done. Eremon. Oh, yeah. Aramon once again. 26 Aramon. Okay, let's take a look. 26 Aramon. Huh. Now pay heed to the lessons of the past. Beware. Don't trust even your most dear. Beware. Give nothing to strangers or those outside of your tribe. I know who is most dear to me, but I wonder, what does it mean by tribe in this day and age? All right. Is there such a thing as a tribe? No, there is not. Hmm. So I won't give to anyone. How are you? Welcome to the neighborhood. What can I do for you, gentlemen? Oh, we just came to introduce ourselves. I own the fruit store on the corner, Ismet. This is Nuri the Butcher, two stores down. Good to meet down. you. And my name's Hyretton. I own the coffee house. Have some. I'll be right back. Excuse me. So what are you guys doing here? Thanks. Let me guess. You're going to say we tradespeople need to stick together and all that stuff. Hmm? I'll be straight with you. I won't put up with that kind of double talk here. Don't worry. We just came by to say hello and wish you well. It's that simple. I promise you. Doing good business helps everybody. You notice how the sheep from your village are always so plump? Huh? Why do you think that is? I don't know. I'm not a farmer. When I was in the village, I owned a shop, too. 
If you want something from the village, don't ask me. I have nothing to do with the village at all anymore. Are you from our village? No, I'm not. I was just trying to make conversation. My tea is famous around here. They even come from other neighborhoods just to have a cup. The tea I used to get at my old cafe was a lot better than this. What did you make this with, chlorine? Why don't you steep it? It's got a funny color, too. What do you charge for this? A special price for a special tea? Nothing special. I charge the same price as everybody. Is there another tea house around here? Yeah, there's another one down the road. But everybody around here prefers my tea to theirs. You must do a good job making people feel comfortable. Hello, how are you doing? If you don't have a good product, that's the only way to make money. I think I'll be going. I have customers to see to. See you around. So how much does the tea go for? That isn't necessary. The tea was my gift. I got a gift for you. Raise your prices and rip your customers off more. Well, neighbor, I brought you some fruit from my store. I hope that you like it fresh. It's what my wife and children eat. Enjoy. How many kids do you have? Never mind about my family. So, where was Ali getting all his fresh produce? Got it for me, of course. Sit down, friend. The fruit you sell this store is all rotten. It is not. Why should people buy from here and get rotten food when they can get it fresh from you instead of this garbage? No way. I couldn't stay in business selling rotten goods to stores. I get them for a low price from the market. I swear I've been selling them at cost for years. Get out of here. Nobody does anything to help each other out these days. You're lucky for some angle. You are, I gotcha. That's why you are asking about my family and stuff. You could be trying to move in on my daughter, huh? Good Lord Almighty. Let's go, neighbor. This man is paranoid. I saw right through them. They were trying to swindle me. You didn't fool me this time. You never will. You think people would have better manners than to visit during dinner? My dear, why'd you make such a big meal tonight? Well, you've been kind of stressed lately. It's hard to adjust. I just wanted to do something to cheer you up. Yeah, right. You're trying to butter me up because you want money. I know it. Mm. I can't believe you think that. I don't want your money, Hydar, I swear. Where did you get that idea from? We got some dessert from the folks upstairs. Mm -hmm. Aren't the people upstairs the landlords? They definitely want money. That's why they brought it. Go take it back to them. I can't do that. It's rude. They're just being nice. <sighs> Papa? Yeah? What? The girls in the neighborhood are going to this cool sewing class. I wanted to go too. So? The classes are super cheap. What do you say? Would you mind paying? Of course I mind paying. University. It's the only school I'm paying for and that's final. Oh wait, I get it. You're trying to squeeze a little more money out of dear old dad with these imaginary sewing classes, aren't you? My lord, she would never do such a thing. Don't you know your own daughter, Hydar? Yeah, you bet I do. Maybe both of you are scamming me together to get money out of me one way or the other. <sighs> What do you think you're doing? Get out! Get out of here, you little thief! Come here, you! Please, Damn you! Please, Put that down! Please, sir, what are you doing? Give you Aren't you ashamed of what you've done? Uh, huh? You good for nothing? Uh, I'll kill you! Sir, don't hit Get the me. hell out! Don't hit me. Uh, uh. He thought he could rip me off. Come on, let's go. Why do you have to end up here? Wretched brat. <laughs>
when one loses his faith in the people around him and loses faith in God, innumerable conflicts arise to overwhelm him. The streets are full of hundreds of people saying they're hungry. I can't believe all of them. When you look to a device, instead of to your soul, to determine good from evil, you will never be able to perceive the truth. This concocted fortune may indicate one choice is the right choice, but without the context of true existence, arbitrary choices lead to bad results. Why did you treat the boy so harshly? The board, they told me to beware and not to trust anyone. There is a time for trust and a time for distrust. There was nothing to you more meaningful than the fortunes you read and the conviction you put into them. Doing this meant that the power of your own will had been compromised. You found fault with everyone around you. And because the board told you to, you distrusted strangers and your loved ones alike. The magnitude of this offense will require a severe reckoning. What's this? Oh, Lord. Here they stand. I do not want to confront these men. Nothing can stop that now. All right. But what am I supposed to say to them? You can say you sold them spoiled food. That wasn't true. You accused me of swindling my customers. I was simply trying to make polite conversation and you took offense to it. We had a way of doing things. We treated each other with mutual respect and friendliness. The way in which you talked to me was filled with disdain and hostility. Your intention was wrong. Your manner was wrong. It's all seen here. The actions and the consequences. What do you have to say to these people? What can I say to them? I can see they won't forgive me for what I did to them. That's, That's right. right. That's treated right. Us you all treated us all with disrespect. disrespect. We, we do, do not, not forgive, forgive you, for you for this. Please try to explain to them. Persuade them to give me a break. This is not the realm where things can change. Life has ended. All is resolved. Now all that remains is to settle the balance of good and bad deeds. Only God may mitigate in the judgment of your soul. I beg you, help me please. I'll do whatever you want. I want nothing from you. You have no one to speak well of you because of the actions that you took. They won't. Why? That poor boy in the street. You recovered your loaf of bread from his hand, but then you hit him. Please don't bring that child here. I can't even look at him. There's no excuse. What can I do? <sighs> I know what I did was wrong, but I wish you would have been more understanding. I was starving. I wish. I wish. Why didn't I show mercy? Ah, oh, I was so selfish, full of bitterness. Uh, Hunger is painful. Desperation is bitter. Uh, I'm sorry I stole from you. Oh. This is worse than I imagined. It is destroying me. I'm ashamed. Please, please don't make me face anymore. It is painful to be accused of an evil deed, and this child will accuse everybody who brought him to this desperate state. He also will accuse those who treated him harshly, just as you have. I am so very sorry, but here it's no good. My life in the city was full of bad experiences. My love for humanity diminished, and my trust and my respect for people washed away with every day. <laughs> if you select this insurance plan, I promise it's one ideally suited for this business operation. You'll be completely covered for all natural disasters and theft. If you pay a little more, your shop will be insured against fire. If you look here, you'll see the premium. It's roughly the same amount that you would pay for a few loaves of bread. Wow. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> yeah, when your father comes home, we'll have to talk to him uh -huh. about it. <sighs> hmm? Anna? Uh, What's this? Who are these men? These, these gentlemen, gentlemen are, are insurance, insurance agents. agents. <laughs> they came in to insure our store against theft and a bunch of other stuff. And who needs their insurance? Go away, I'm not interested. Come on, get to work. Yes, sir. This is the door. 
Somebody's been messing with the lock. Replace it with a better one. You got it. No problem. The way I see it, who needs insurance? So why don't you be on your way? Anybody can see you're making a lot of money in a place like this. You're putting yourself and your business in risk by not insuring it. Listen, our policy is the best. We can activate your coverage today, and all it's going to cost you is the equivalent of a pack of cigarettes. And you think that sounds appealing? You know how much a pack of cigarettes costs? Just the value of a pack of cigarettes. I don't want insurance, and that's it. I don't have money to throw at stupid stuff like that. I'm not going to change my mind. That's the way it is. Thank you, but no thanks. Hi, Dar. Why didn't you at least listen to him? His offer sounded very reasonable. No, Miriam, no. What good is a, a piece of paper and a policy? A rifle and a pistol. To fight them fearlessly with strength. That's the only thing thieves understand. Hi, Dar. Protecting us with rifles and pistols is crazy. Ugh, it's the 21st century. I know the date. I'll give it some thought. I'll be back in about an hour, dear. Ah, oh, Isla, come. I was so ashamed in front of those guys. Where's Dad going, anyway? Well, I'm not exactly sure. He said something about rifles and pistols and... You know what? Follow him. Make sure he's okay. Oh, dear Lord, help him. How much is that one? Which one? This one? This is a great choice. You really need to know what you're doing. This baby's worth 600 on the market, but I can give it to you for 500. Look at this. Why well, give it to me for less? What's so special about me? I guess. I thought you'd be more interested if there was a discount. But I didn't ask you for a discount, did I? You're trying to get something else out of me, right? You're working some other angle. I know. You couldn't get rid of this rifle. And you're just trying to hustle me here! What are you talking about, dude? I'm not trying to hustle anyone. I'm just selling you a rifle. Be careful with your stupid accusations. What if I don't want to be careful? Are Dad, you going to stop. try to shut what me up? What are you up? doing? Papa, stop. What are you doing? I wanted to buy a rifle to protect the store. But this jerk here is trying to rip me off. Dude, lay off. You are seriously delusional. Listen, take your old man to the doctor. You shut up, or I'll send you to the doctor. All right, that's enough. Let's get out of here. Give me the money. I'll buy it. No. I want to buy it. I'm not going to argue with you. Give me the money. Get a good one. I don't want to have to deal with this guy again. Okay. I will. No problem. I'll be right there. All right. How much is that one? This one? That's it. Oh, yeah. It's bad. I couldn't even believe what came out of his mouth. He was tense. And then he went to buy a rifle. He'll defend the store like a one-man army. I know. There's no use trying to change a man at his age. Oh, how is Sazie? Is she still taking adult education? Isla is good. Oh, listen, I have to go, but take care and good luck with the diet. I'll talk to you later. Now this is insurance. Look, a brand new security system. No, please, Hydar, don't. What if there's an accident? Calm down, Miriam. Don't get jumpy. Uh, I haven't forgotten how to handle a rifle. Where was it that you learned how to use a rifle, sweetheart? I did my military service, didn't I? Of course I know how to use a gun. Uh, Why is the chamber empty, Isla? That's because we didn't load it. Here, I'll do that. No, no, I can do it. Let me, let me. No, Dad, I really want to. Uh, okay, so load it then. Hey, are you still here? Why haven't you finished up yet? Is there something wrong? Yeah, I'm done, but the problem is not the lock, it's the door. You have to bring a carpenter here. I have a neighbor two shops down. He could hook you up. Should I call him? Oh, so the gypsy is giving us advice now, is that it? I don't believe it. What's next? Now that he's made his money, he has to make sure his friend gets some too. I get it. It isn't the lock, it's the door. Wonder what's next. It's nothing like that. 
I'm telling you for your own good. Call another carpenter if you want to. Or don't fix it. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. I know how you guys are. Every one of you is the same. You're always trying to steal an honest buck. Watch your mouth, pal, or I'll shut it for you. I'll be damned if you're going to oh, tell me to stop, shut my Papa, mouth. Stop it, Papa. Stop, stop. Papa, what are you doing? Go. Get out of here. Get your things and get away from him. Get out of here, damn you. You're not dealing with a gypsy, you stupid idiot. The problem isn't with your lock, sir. Your problem is the door. Did you think you were dealing with an idiot? Haida, for God's sake, haven't you had enough? I'm sick of your vicious paranoia. Please stop. Unbelievable. How can you be so racist? He was only trying to help. Stop acting like a psychopath. That guy offended me. How dare a gypsy tell me what to do? Like I don't know how to handle my own affairs? His kind is no longer welcome here. You're not going to take my money that easily. Try ripping off a gullible shopkeeper next time. That's enough, Hydar, for God's sake. Please stop. Mother. This is wearing me out. I'm exhausted. Please stop. Mother? <sighs> Mother? <sighs> Mo Mother, are you alright? Oh God, I got you, okay? Mother? I, I think there is something seriously wrong with me. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna be fine. It's natural to get freaked out. When you're sick, you always assume the worst. There is nothing wrong with you, my dear. If there was, I would know. You're healthier than all of us. Well, it's very comforting to believe that. How can you be certain if you're not a doctor? Listen, my child. You shouldn't put so much faith in these almighty hospitals. They're just trying to cure you of your savings. How many new diseases do they come up with every year? It wasn't like that in the past. Everybody used to live to be 90 or more. Hospitals are a scam. Come on, give me a break. You don't actually believe any of that, do you? In fact, I do. Now help your mother up and let's go. The store is sitting there closed for no reason. Customers will stop coming. Your mother is fine. Hello, ma'am. Good to see you. Thank you, doctor. What's wrong? You're going to be fine, but you do need a little rest. <coughs> huh? You hear that? Uh, I'm going to get some air. You're going to be fine, Mom. What is it, Doctor? I'm sorry, but your wife is very ill. What do you mean? She has a brain tumor. What? What's worse, it's highly advanced. Is she going to die? The tumor is much too large. She will live a year at most. And what should we do? She has to have an operation immediately. She must not leave the hospital, and she will require a lengthy treatment period. And is this treatment she needs very expensive? It is. It is very expensive. It'll cost at least 50000 What? 50000 If she's going to die, why bother treating her? I didn't quite catch that. What did you say, sir? Uh, uh, I meant to say that what good's money if it can't bring her back, you know? My poor wife. I just don't want her to suffer like that. I need a little more time to sort this out. There's someone I would uh, like to consult. Huh. I understand, but decide quickly. Uh-huh. Where's your father, sweetheart? He stepped out to talk to the doctor. He'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Would you get me some water, sweetheart? My mouth is dry. Of course. I'd be happy to. <sighs> Promise me you'll stay in bed, though, all right? <sighs> Papa? Papa, wait up! What happened? Where are you headed off to? There's, uh, something I have to settle right now. Papa, are you hiding something from me? Of course not. What would I hide? Is there something seriously wrong with Mom? You have to tell me. No, dear. May God forbid. I mean, the doctor would have told me about it. Your mom's all right. She just has a little high blood pressure. It's that simple. So where are you going off to now? Uh, I'm stopping by the bank to get money for her treatment. Well, don't take too long. Mom is worried. She wants you here. All right, all right, Isla. Where you going, sir? Uptown. Step on it. Yes, sir. 
Take the express. How are you feeling, Mom? Is there anything I can do? I'm very dizzy, my dear. They had me take all these tests, but they didn't really tell me anything. If it was something serious, they would have told you. Thank goodness it's just a little high blood pressure. No, dear, I think it's something a lot worse. And your father still hasn't come back. Luck, fortune, destiny, and fate, past, future, Yezdan, Ereman. Twenty-nine, Ereman. Twenty-nine, Ereman. The sins of man were so great and were so vast that they created Satan, Prince of Evil. Satan created so much sin in one month, the sins combined and formed the shape of a woman. Therefore, in this month alone, Beware women. That's all taken care of. Okay, let's go. She's still sick. No, but we'll be able for her at home. It's just a little bit of high blood pressure, that's all. Ah, uh, really, Hightar, that's all? You're sure about that? We can't afford to make a mistake. Uh, I have just discussed it all with the doctor. And I finished the paperwork to discharge you. Come on, come on, hurry up. Let's go. I want to see the doctor myself. Did he prescribe any medicine? We'll talk about that on the way. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, Come on, Isla, help your mother. Get her out of that bed. Let's go. Here we go. Oh. For God's sakes, come on. 48, 49, 50. Ten thousand. My God, that's great. I have so much money now, I could never work another day. And there's the money in the bank. Fifty-five thousand six hundred, apart from what I got in the banks. Hey, Isla, did you hear the good news? You're the daughter of a very rich man. Finally, now I'll buy another store and make more. I wonder if I should sell the store we're in now. Huh, Miriam? What do you think? Should I sell the store? Or should I keep the store? I should keep it, I should. Because then I could pass it on to Isla. I mean, I'll give her the title. Isla will get one half. Uh, no, that's too much. How about a full third? I'm glad that I asked the board. Suppose I had listened to that doctor and kept you in the hospital like he wanted. Right, Miriam? I'm talking to you, Miriam. What's this? So the doctor said Mom should have stayed in the hospital? Uh, uh, no, not really. Hospitals are rackets. I don't even know how much money we could have wasted on that garbage. Your mom's fit as a fiddle. Isn't that right, Miriam? Huh? Mother? Mother, 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 mommy, mother. Oh, Dad, look at her. Open your eyes. Wake up, mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Mom. Mommy. <laughs> Please wake up. <laughs> uh. 
How did you feel when she died? I was very distraught. It was like losing a part of myself. And yet, from a certain point of view, it was you who left her to die. What could I do? She was destined to die. The doctor had said that she would die no matter what. It's true he also said that she might have lived if she were treated. You're right. I could have paid for her treatment. But instead, you left the illness untreated because the board told you to. The treatment wasn't worth the money, was it? No. No, I don't want to say that. My dear wife's illness was terminal, that's all. It is man's duty to seek treatment, to call upon God and his tremendous capacity to heal. It is God's will to cherish and protect life. It is disrespectful to take life for granted and let it die. But the real reason was this. According to that board, women should be vilified and are unworthy of respect. Uh, yeah. It said that women were created from the multitude of Satan's sins. I must have been under its influence. Paranoia. And your love of money. Fortune telling. These are the works of the devil. Satan has nothing to do with the creation of women or the bond you shared with your wife. Marriage is a contract that continues even in this place. You broke your promise to her. How will you explain yourself? Uh, you... You mean I'm going to have to face her now? Please don't do this. I cannot bear to face her again. I can't do it. I wish I hadn't known. I wish I never discovered what you did to me. Did I ever once in our 25 years of marriage ever do anything bad to you as a wife? No. Did I ever bring embarrassment to our family name? No. Did I ever once complain? No. Didn't I always warn you not to use the fortune board? Yes. Yes. Did I ever expect anything in return for being your wife? No. Then what kept you from saving me? It was the devil. The devil is not to blame for your actions. You are the one who followed in his path. It's true that the devil had seduced you thoroughly. What a pity. Such a waste of your years of work and all the sacrifices I made. Oh, Miriam, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I won't. I can't. You dishonored me completely. How can I ever forgive you for everything you've done to me? You have also dishonored God. You said women were created from the sins of Satan. This is a tremendous disrespect to all honorable women. And to God, that assertion is a blatant act of blasphemy. Forgive. Please forgive me. Please forgive. I was just fortune-telling. Is that such a sin? Of course not. But that is where you placed your faith. You abandoned the true God to worship false ones. I was lost, and I kept looking for answers in this ancient practice. And then, the worse things got, the more I looked. I could make a decision without relying on the fortune board. Every time I became even more full of hatred! Stupid gypsy. That lowlife tried to rip me off. He was going to charge me an arm and a leg. It wouldn't have done a better job than I could have done myself. A oh, jerk. All the wackos and crooks seem to gravitate to me. Oh my god, give me strength. How come nobody sees things straight but me? This place is a total mess. The entire world is going to hell in a handbasket. How much money is this chocolate, mister? 
Hey, do you got any of those batteries? The special kind for the game kit. Quit your yapping about that garbage. Go home where you belong and bother your mother. I have a shop to run. Like I need this. Okay, we'll go. But I want this chewing gum and some of the chocolate you got over there on top. You see where I mean? Yeah, I see. Thanks, that's great. Oh, these look good. <gasps> I'm what did you do? They just the on his bad side. Oh, you clumsy little brat, get I'm out of sorry. here. Get out. Come Move on, it. Let's get, out. get out of here. I don't need the few nickels and dimes you brats give me. Goodbye and good riddance. Damn you. How are you doing, Hydar? I wanted to get some stuff to clean my bathroom. Before you take anything else out of here, you'll pay me what you owe, you understand? How dare you talk to me with such contempt? You don't treat your customers that way. I swear I'll never come to this store again. I can't believe you would do that. Yeah. <sighs> I shouldn't treat customers that way. But customers are supposed to pay. I'll settle That's up. That's so kind Here's of you. Here's your money. Take your damn money and shut the hell up, you creep. Quit your whining and get out of here. Think I need freeloaders like you to get me by? Yeah, this is the place. His lock's messed up, remember? Come back tonight. He'll bring us a piece of cake. <laughs> huh? What? What do you think you're doing, huh? man? You should be ashamed of yourself slapping around a little kid like that. He can't hit back. You coward. How dare you? How hard you slap him? <laughs> Please, aren't you ashamed to hit a frail old man like me? God, aren't you ashamed to be a grown man hitting a little boy? He's a real jerk, you know? Nobody knows his telephone number or even where the guy lives. Oh, there he is. What is this? What's going on? What happened, officer? What happened to my store? There was a burglary, sir. And vandalism. Did you have any insurance? If you did, it would have covered this. I'm so sorry. I heard he had no insurance. He's in trouble. It's all... all because of you, isn't it? Of course. That gypsy came back to the store. That guy will regret messing with me. That slime deserves it. I'm going to make him pay for this. Hey, there's the pretty girl. Uh, how are you, sweetheart? Not so good, Papa. What's wrong? You're crying. What's wrong, sweetie? Tell me what happened. Something really bad happened when I was leaving school today. The mothers of all my friends came to get their kids at the school. Hello, darling. Hi, Mommy. Did you wait too long, baby? My mom used to come and get me before she died. Let's go, dear. Are you hungry? Uh, let me get your backpack. Come on, dear.
Mom, I dropped my Careful, dome. dear. Watch for traffic. Honey, stop! <sighs> my goodness, we're almost run over. When will you learn? I saw Aisha's doll still in the street. I went to go and get it for her. protected me from the car, but she's gone. Who's going to take care of me? <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'm right here. I know, but you're always here. You can't watch out for me every morning. God watches out for us all, but we have to say our prayers every day and do as he wishes. But how? Read this prayer and think about it all the time, and God will protect us. But I don't know how to read this book, Papa. You'll learn how when you grow up. For now, you can pray in your own words, okay? All right. But, Papa, who's going to protect you? Don't worry about that, dear. But you can pray for me if you want. I will. Of course I will. Nothing will hurt you, Papa. Listen, dear. I have something special for you. Wait here. Okay. Good girl. Gypsy? Hmm? What do you want? As if you don't know what you did to me. My shop's ruined. I should have known better than to trust your kind. Look, there must be a mistake. I fixed your lock the best that I could. Don't you dare lie to me. Whoa. The way I see it, you could have sent that burglar. I mean, who knows more about lying and stealing than gypsies? Calm down. I've done nothing to you. I'll, I'll pay you back. Look, take all the money in my pocket. Huh. I don't Papa, want your Papa, money. No! You can't pay me back with your filthy blood money. Papa, please don't leave me. I'll pray for you. Get him! My baby! Get him! Get him! Look at him! Get him! My baby! Oh, I... My what have I done? Get him! Oh, what have I done? Please! Get him! Oh, God. <laughs> what have I done? Get him! Come back to me, please! Is this what your fortune foretold? Do you see how it's determined your fate? <sighs> Isn't it too late to learn from my mistakes? It is. One mistake merely perpetuated a worse one. You considered your wife less than human and let her die. Then you demonized the locksmith because of his race. It's not right to be racist. And yet, many people agree, the gypsies are not to be trusted. Is a sin less a sin because many commit it? Of course not. Don't look to the faults of others to obscure the sins of your own. Are people allowed to choose the bodies they're born into? No, they're not. So then, how should one be judged? Only by what they've done. And by what they carry in their hearts. So then, how will this be factored into the final account? When you hate generally, its account will be general. You hated all the gypsies. I know. How can each and every gypsy stand to accuse me? How could there be time for them all? God is all-knowing. Not even the vast expanse of time eludes his comprehension. In the land of divine power, nothing is beyond his ability. There's nothing left for me, I'm ruined. But I still think that the Gypsy really did want to rip me off. I have to believe that it might have been a possibility. It is not enough to simply insinuate. You must have something more definite. What was the source of your distrust? Did he himself do something suspicious? 
Well, no. But if you trust everyone you meet, you'll end up with nothing but a life of regrets. Isn't trust something that people need to earn? You must approach each relationship openly. You should not act with distrust unless you want to create distrust. Also, disagreements can be resolved with respect. Do not attack the color, the manner, or the culture of anyone that you know. Perhaps you should witness what your actions yielded. Oh, I know. I murdered that poor little girl. I did it, I did. It's lucky for you that you didn't kill me. You? The gypsy? That's right. Here I am. No. No. Don't speak against me, please. Does it honestly matter what my heritage is? No. No. Was it right for you to say those things? No. No. And was I right to give you a warning? Yes. You were. Yes, you were right. So why did you turn your weapon on me? Why did you want to kill me in front of my little girl? I had no intention of doing that. But you frightened my daughter and me. Didn't you think my daughter would be affected by this her whole life? I know. I did a terrible thing. I don't think you have any idea how terrible. No. No. Don't do this. I can't bear it. Please let me go. Before you sin, you should know whether or not you can endure perdition's flames. I was sorry for what I had done in my life to that girl. I just wanted to kill myself and be done with it. Baby! Gina! Baby, please come back to me. <laughs> I'll... Oh, my baby! Oh. I said I would protect you, Papa, didn't I? Oh, God, thank you for saving her. I won't leave, Papa. My God, is she all right? I saved my Papa's life. Papa? Where'd you go? God, I can't believe it. My God, this is crazy. Forgive me. It's unbelievable. I can't stand it. Please take me, God. Take my life now and save me from the torture of this guilt. I can't face what I've done. It's insane, my God. Kill me. Take my life. Please, God. Deliver me from the agony of my conscience. Please, God, please. Just kill me. Papa. Papa. Where is he? <sighs> Papa. Papa! Oh God, how can I go on? I can't. Papa! Papa, where are you? Papa! Papa! What have I done, Lord? God, what have I done? I can't go on. I can't. the burden of the sin. I don't have the strength. Papa! Papa, answer me, Papa! Where are you, Papa? Uh, 
My god. I can't. It's too much for me to bear. I'm too weak. I just can't take it. Oh god. Papa? <gasps> oh god. There's no way I could go on. This is it for me. I know it's wrong, but I can't stand it. I'm so sorry, Isla. Papa, don't! Stop this, please! There's something you don't know! It's funny you should say that, dear. There are things you don't know. I... I killed an innocent child! You didn't, Papa! That girl is alive! Don't do this! What? But that can't be! She didn't die? No, Papa, she's alive! She didn't die! She didn't die! Now you see where the harmless practice of fortune-telling has led you. You had a mind. You had a will. But instead you chose to let a board determine your fate. Your actions. Your choices. Your account is now complete. You're sure there's no way out of this? Nothing can be changed now. But I would change so much now that I've seen the error of my ways. The world is a place of change. You had the intelligence, and the opportunity to use it. If you were to go back now, your choices would not be truly considered yours. To know how you should have lived is different than living your life well. Yeah, but still, surely some exception can be made, right? To be a human being is to be most exceptional. And yet, I was pretty lousy at being human. I could be a very good person, if given the chance, just this once. Come on, just for a while. Who could it hurt? I could go back, real quick. I could set so much right. And what is it you would hope to accomplish? Well, I guess, now I know that God is real, I could spread belief in Him. Because now you know it's true. I do. I believe. So then, the strength of your conviction comes from your empirical experience instead of being based on faith. That's it. Now I know what to believe in. It's so tragic to have had a lifetime of opportunity to open your mind and your heart, and to do so too late. Don't say that. Give me a chance. Just a little more time. Let me go back, please. I am a mirror of your conscience. I reflect. I cannot change what has happened, or what will become of you because of it. Please. I'm begging you. A little more time. I swear I'll do good. Come on. Oh, helpless poor man. The world deceived you. Here you thought you were permanent. You turned life's blessing to a game. You looked in vain. You lived in vain. In vanity you did remain. Your deeds you did, their reward you found, in the abyss you topple up down. Oh, my dear God. I can't bear to see my fate now. Damnation awaits me. Damnation. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't let me go, help me, I didn't realize, I, I never meant to hurt anyone, don't, don't do this, have mercy, somebody please come save me, please have mercy on me, please have mercy, no!
Thank you.